with that down, let's talk about this, shall we? Don't know if you've heard the word, but there's a Deadpool movie coming out. <laughs> What's Deadpool? It's uh, it's this guy. It's a, guy, it's a swimming guy, movie? Guy swings a sword. Oh, something okay. like that. Okay. In, a, in a pool. Yes, oh, yeah. that's exactly. It swims a lot. Yeah. So it's coming out. We've talked a lot about it. Of course, the other day, the early six-week tracking came out that are projecting that this movie is going to make between 200 and 239 million dollars on its opening weekend which is ludicrous like absolutely to the point that i have some doubts that it'll actually do that like it's going to be a monstrously huge movie no doubt and it's going to have a monstrously huge opening weekend no doubt but 200 to 235 we're talking about it being possibly in the top five of the biggest openings in the history of cinema <laughs> i want to see what that looks like in the theater when we get there what a 200 fit. Let's say if it does. Just uh, think about Endgame or Infinity War or Star or, or Spider-Man No Way Home. Yeah. That, that's kind of what it would look like. Like massive throngs but, of people, huge, tough time finding a parking spot at the theater kind of thing. Like, yeah, because No Way Home was 260. Yeah, two, so it's right in that neighborhood of No Way Home. And remember how bonkers that was. Yeah, but t take that setting into Riverside, that theater. Because we're in Burbank when we watched well, all those. Oh, theaters. you were. Yeah, but so be, they were. A, it was a bigger theater. It'll Imagine, be all theaters. Man. Oh, I mean, it'll be all. It's theaters. gonna be crazy like, if it's in that right. range. But now, two very interesting points have come up. One is that unlike Deadpool one, and unlike Deadpool two proper, Deadpool three is going to get a China release which the other two Deadpools were not able to do. Now, they were ma they managed to sneak Deadpool, a form of Deadpool 2 into Chinese theaters, but that was Once Upon a Deadpool, where oh, they right, yeah. completely gutted the film, completely like redid it in many different ways in the editing room. And it, it wasn't, at the end of the day, it wasn't even essentially Deadpool 2, yeah. right? So Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2 were not able to have Chinese releases. And now they are. And this one's going to have Wolverine in it. The but last not, but not Fred film, Savage. Yeah, without Fred Savage. Mm -hmm. The last Wolverine film, Logan, made $100 million in Chinese box office. Wow. Over $100 million in the Chinese box office. And it looks like they're not really going to have to change much other than some of the R stuff, but that they're not going to fundamentally change the movie. This comes to us from Deadline. Disney Marvel were not specific on the cuts they're going to have to make in the film, but... We understand the trims made to Sean Levy directed Deadpool and Wolverine are minimal and due to violence, blood, gore, and language. We also hear that no cuts were made that impact the integrity of the storytelling and that the Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman star remains authentic to the Deadpool spirit, unlike the one they put up before once upon a Deadpool. So how big will this be in China? Hard to say a lot of the average movie going audience way overestimate how much movies make in china mm -hmm. particularly hollywood movies right because a lot of times like well he'd see these discussions man that that movie whatever movie didn't even play in china it would have made like 300 million more no no now I, if you want to go back and find it i did an editorial on the channel about a year ago actually breaking down how much hollywood movies actually make in china it's not a night and day difference but if you're talking about a movie that could add another hundred million dollars to its box office Let's put that in context. Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2, without getting Chinese releases, were at the time the highest grossing R-rated films in history at mid-700s, right? 700 millions. Had it made $100 million in China, that would have been in the mid-800 million dollars each, which is pretty damn impressive. Now, is it guaranteed that this movie will make $100 million in China? No. But could it, is it pretty much a safe bet that it'll get in the ballpark of $100 million? I think so, which is pretty interesting. Now, the second interesting thing that came out about Deadpool and Wolverine is there has been a narrative going around, and we've talked about this before, that Deadpool 3 is a one-shot only for Marvel. That they're doing Deadpool 3, Deadpool and Wolverine, and that's it. They're not doing any more. It's just a one-shot thing. To which I have always kind of pushed back against that because I'm like, how does it make sense for Ryan Reynolds to come back and for Marvel to mount this giant machine to get this thing out in theaters 
if the plan is never to capitalize on it anymore, if it's just to do a one-shot movie and not capitalize on it further, it doesn't make sense to me. Well, now, the director of Deadpool Wolverine has apparently confirmed that there is no such plan to just end Deadpool after Deadpool 3. When he was asked about the possibility of a sequel, and Sean Levy, the director, said this, Usually, I have to lie. I'm waiting for the questions when I have to lie and pretend I don't know the answer. But this one, I can sincerely say, I don't know, Levy told Deadline when asked about a follow-up film. But I can, in the same breath, say, man, this thing has been the hardest, most all-consuming thing I've ever done. But it's also been the most creatively gratifying because with Deadpool, there are no rules. It is, in its very DNA, belt, built on tonal audacity. All right. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Game Time. My wife, Ann, and I love going to events, whether they're comedy shows, concerts, an LA Lakers game. I mean, just the other night, we went to go see Ronnie Chang, and it was awesome. We love having these new experiences and new memories. And our sponsor, Game Time, makes getting tickets for concerts and events faster and easier, even if you don't buy tickets right away. Because prices on the Game Time app actually go down the closer you get to the show start time. With killer last-minute deals, all-in prices, views from your seat, and their lowest price guarantee, Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying event tickets. I couldn't believe how easy and most importantly, intuitively, the entire app works. Finding the event I was looking for couldn't have been easier. The way it lays out the map of the venue, letting you know exactly where the seats are that you're looking for and how easy the process was to choose and buy those tickets. So don't worry if you think you're too late to get tickets to that big event you and your friend want to go to. They have last minute deals. Save up to 60% off buying last minute for sports, concerts, comedy, theater, whatever. So guys, take the guesswork out of buying concert tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use the code CAMPIA for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code CAMPIA, C-A-M-P-E-A, -E for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price, guaranteed. I want to point something out. Sean Levy, by saying, well, I don't know what we're going to do with a sequel. I don't know if we're going to get a sequel. What that pretty much confirms is that there was no mandate or no plan that we're going to do a one-shot Deadpool movie, kill off Deadpool at the end, and that's the end. Just by saying, I don't know, he's confirming that the plan isn't to end it. Now, that doesn't guarantee we will get a sequel. Mm-hmm. But what it does affirm is that, no, the plan going into Deadpool 3 was not, this is a one-shot deal, and that's it, and then we're moving on with the MCU without Deadpool. And I think especially given the last couple of years, when you're looking at the financial box office results of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, or you're looking at the box office results of the Marvels, or you're looking at the box office results of some other comic book IP, like shazam 2 blue beetle black adam i think disney is just right now in the stage of saying we will talk about sequels once we get a little bit closer to the release or once we see what kind of box office it's generating because i think you got to be a whole lot of crazy to think that if this movie does indeed open to 200 to 240 million on its opening weekend which i'm not guaranteeing it will i have some doubts that it will but that's what they're saying You'd have to be a special kind of crazy to not think that instantly Kevin Feige, some Disney execs aren't flying Ryan Reynolds out somewhere and Sean Levy for that matter to sit down and start making plans for another one. So I think we can put to bed this idea that the plan was just to do Deadpool 3 and end it. I, I don't think that's the case. And I think Sean Levy just pretty much affirmed that. I, I felt the same way when we were uh, counting down on No Way Home. With uh, the Spider-Man film, I, I, you could probably catch me saying in a, the, those previous videos that I thought it was a goodbye uh, for the fans, for uh, for Andrew and Toby, so they, right. especially for Andrew, so he could close that chapter because he never really got to finish, and that I really thought that. But then the weeks after it came out, we started hearing noise of Andrew maybe possibly coming back to do another Spider-Man film. Maybe Toby doing an older Spider-Man, right? We, yeah, which we're, was always we were unlikely. hearing things. Yeah, we were hearing things, but, but we never really so bought into So this kind of is a little reminiscent of that because for me, I actually am the one of the ones that actually think 
it's it's for the fans. It's for uh Hugh to say bye as dead uh Wolverine, like in a in a, in in a nicer or like more happier way than Logan did it. And also with Ryan Reynolds, you know, I don't know if he wants to do other projects, if he wants to like do other things. I thought maybe this would be them saying goodbye in the MCU and then moving on to the X-Men or whatever. But it appears money has money has a is very powerful and convincing otherwise. Now I, I just want to point out one of our live viewers, Victor uh Plajas in the in the live chat is saying that's not confirmation of anything. It's just him saying he hasn't heard anything. He is the director of this film. He is one of the producers of this film. If the plan was that this is a one-shot Deadpool movie and we're not doing any more, he would know. They would already know. As the director of the film, yeah. as the partner of Ryan Reynolds, and as a producer, he would know if that was the plan by him saying we don't know if we're going to do a sequel that just confirms it doesn't confirm that there will be a sequel but it confirms that it was never the plan to go into this deadpool as a one-shot movie that's not the plan now if it underperforms which seems unlikely but if it underperforms or the audiences don't respond well to it maybe it's a sack of garbage movie i mean i don't believe it will be but it could be any movie could be terrible including this one yeah, they say we're not going to do another one, and that's perfectly fine. But by him simply saying, I don't know, that confirms that there was never a plan. It was never predetermined, like some people suggested it was, that this was going to always be a one-shot movie where they just kill off Deadpool at the end, and that's the end of it, and then they move on and they you know, send the Deadpool character to a retirement home. I think it does confirm that. It 100% confirms that. Now... Whether or not we actually get a Deadpool 4 or a Deadpool and Wolverine 2 or whatever it is you want to call it, that will completely depend on how the audience responds to the movie and how well it does financially. Because there may not be another one. But they're leaving that door open, obviously. Anyway, guys, the question is for you. What do you think about this? What's the bigger deal, do you think? The fact that it looks like Sean Levy, the director of the film, just basically confirmed that it was never the plan just for this to be a one-and-done movie, or the fact that unlike the other two Deadpool films, this one's going to get a China release. Which is the more important issue to you? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.